Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Slay the Spire Dailies. This is June 24th, 2018 and we are here to jam some Slay the Spire. I'm extremely excited to be back. I was sick for uh, almost a week as I said in yesterday's episode and I'm very happy to be playing games again. I played games all day yesterday. It was great. Got back into it and I'm um, having a great time. I feel a lot better today and I have to take a delicious sip of my coffee right now. When you get a different blend though, this blend isn't working for me anymore. Anyway, um, without further ado, let's jump into it. We're playing in the Ironclad. We started with a relic, we're getting a bunch of relics and we're getting a lot of cards. We cannot upgrade, uh, we're getting a lot of money, but we cannot upgrade cards. So we're not getting cards, we can't upgrade the cards we already have. And we are going to have infinite relics. So this is kind of a run where we could break the game. We could get every relic in the game pretty much. Red Skull sucks by the way, game. Just FYI, in case you don't know, 1-1-1. One, one, one. Two. There's only a two path path no matter what path you take. I'm gonna do the first room because we're gonna have a lot of money after the first room straight up due to the uh, setup of this allowing us of course to oops to uh, get it get like a lot of money off the first room. We might be able to straight up just buy one of the rarer cards such as uh, apotheosis etc etc and I'd like to buy a nice card. See 144 gold and this has get some good stuff in the deck. See we want to take this. So we look, we look at what we have now. Something we'd want is armaments because we can upgrade cards in the deck to make them better, of course. If we look what else uh, is available, fire breathing is not really good for us. Magnetism is not good for us. Blind could be good. Uppercut could be good. So I think what you want is probably. Or oh, Searing Blow. We can't upgrade though. Hmm. We can't upgrade. I think you want to go armaments. And um, I like Intimidate. I'll take Intimidate and move on. So I bought two cards right off the bat. We can't upgrade these cards, but it's okay. Upgrade two random cards. That's great. Not the cards I would have liked to upgrade. I would have preferred to have upgraded the... Uh... Oh, we have to use one block at least. Let's upgrade the strike. Or use upgraded strike over here. Use upgraded strike over here. And then they'll turn. Okay. So we're going to take five damage. We'll heal six. Reduce the heal. Oh, but I'm just like... Why am I so low on HP? It's because we took a hit from the upgrading of the cards. Whetstone upgrades two more cards. I'm pretty sure every single strike in our deck except for one is upgraded right now, which is insanely good. Uh, I'll find a relic for losing three HP. I'll lose some more HP. I'll lose some more HP. It's fine. Threaded needle is great. Um, <coughs> I can't upgrade cards anyway, so let's rest up and go to fight an elite. It means we get two rests, which is really bad for us. I, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little bit sad that I chose that route. Uh, let's go armaments and let's upgrade the last strike. We can just use the armaments to upgrade stuff while we wait for him to wake up. <coughs> so we're going to bash him and we're going to strike him and we're going to start getting ready to start doing some damage. You're not going to perfect this elite. There's no way in hell that that's happening. But we could at least do quite a lot of damage with all these upgraded strikes in our deck. Very nice to have a bunch of upgraded strikes like that. <coughs> going to bash him again. Use our delicious upgraded strike. It's not bad. It's not bad. We're in a not bad situation right now. Um, it will not kill you. So what I should do is I should probably upgrade Bash for future turns. And then just double strike. I think you'll die regardless next turn. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's not going to matter for us. I'm just going to take another sip of my coffee. I can, as you can hear, my throat is dying. Okay, we're back. I think the problem I'm having right now is that I don't th actually think ahead. The, th the the problem is that I am recording after waking up, having food, having some coffee, and then going, which is good, which is fine. The problem that is occurring is that I am not giving myself my my, my voice time to like wake up you know what I mean <coughs> uh, mind blast is tempting but we're not gonna have a very big deck here so it's probably not worth it uh, wild strike is pretty tempting but I think I'm just gonna buy the tiny chest and move on and it's a relic which is a bit of a like a bit of a weird choice but I'm wondering about another armament in the deck I mean just five block me able to upgrade every card in our deck well we don't want five block because we have Good block. I don't know. Um, oh, crap. I got a three fucking bonfires. <coughs> Excuse me. Definitely a mistake in the way I approach this. I can tell that much right now. We have 11 blocks, so we actually just don't care about blocking right now. So it's really nice. 
So we're taking 60 next turn unless we can kill one. If we kill one, which I'm pretty sure we can do. Um Are you serious? We're gonna have to use the potion for it. Boom. But that will give us the perfect we need. Uh let's use almonds to upgrade a defend. The free one, use the free defend and go on. Not bad. So we should perfect this as we get 11 block every turn. So all we need to do is not block, which is easy. It's easy to do. Just don't block, and you'll get 11 block. And uh, we'll get the perfect. Even if we do block, we'll go <coughs> up to 11 block regardless, because we get 6 from the uh, normal, def 5 from normal defense. So we go up to 10 and we'll block enough anyway. But basically, we're going to perfect the city fight, which is extremely good. Because I didn't think I could perfect fights. Um, simply because... Simply because I had, uh, it's a vintage run. You don't have a lot of good cards in the deck. You got a lot of bad cards in the deck. I could have literally killed him there. I don't know why I didn't, but it's okay. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. We got very lucky with the card upgrades. Having, oh my word. Getting all the uh, upgrades we're getting is really good. Thunderclap or Flex? Um, I think Flex is good. We should get card draw with this. I think Iron Wave is also good, but I think... Thunderclap or Flex? I'm gonna go for Thunderclap as the Vulnerable is just worth a little bit more than Flex. In most cases. In most cases it will be, but uh, we'll see. I would really like to have an upgraded Bash if possible game. Let's see how much is upgraded. It's upgrade, upgraded, 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 upgraded. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 cards in the deck that aren't upgraded. In a deck of cards that couldn't be upgraded in the first place. I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay? I'm absolutely 100% fine with that. <coughs> I'm very annoyed that my throat chose now of all days to give me a little bit of a, a little bit of a problem. Makes me a bit sad. Pen nibs, great, and uh, let's go. So I don't think we did the first floor extremely well. Um, I feel like we could have definitely done a little bit. But we're actually going to take a hit of damage here, ironically. So we have to keep in mind that we do not actually have enough to perfect these enemies. So. We're going to take a lot of damage because I used the defend by accident, but that's okay. There we go. Molten Egg is huge. Every single attack we get will be automatically upgraded. So, I would love to perfect this next boss, the boss line, but the chances are reasonably low. Um, we will need the Bash and the Pender play to work in sync with each other to get us the max amount of damage plausible. So the next hit will be pen nib. So like that. This is a pen nib strike for 22. That's okay. So I don't know if we can actually even split him in time. We might not even split this guy in time. Um, let's see. If I use this, it will do 10 plus vulnerable. This will do 11 plus 6. So it'll be 10 with 82, and it will actually split him. It will just just split him. But I don't know if I want to split him. I could use almonds to upgrade Thunderclap. Use Thunderclap to vulnerable. I would not split him, but then I would take a ton of damage. I think you have to split him for the hope of perfecting him. I think that's our only choice here. I think our only choice. Like we get 11 block a turn. That is not bad block. I'm going to get rid of both slime cards immediately. I'm going to use the artifact potion to not get... Uh, does he frail me? He frails me. He weakens me. I don't care about being frailed as much as I care about being uh, weakened. I will intimidate here. 12. We do not have enough blocks. So we have to use a block here. Now we have enough block. Look, I want to perfect this boss, okay? It's very important for me personally that I perfect this boss. So I'm going to go all out. I'm going to go all out for it. <coughs> That's a lot of incoming damage. Um, let's think. Let's think. We could armaments to 10 and then defend. So armaments upgrade strike. Use defend. Use strike. One down. Let's go. Oh, not one down, but. Closer, 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 closer. I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna perfect this fight. Just looking at it, I look at it, I think realistically to myself, and I say It's unlikely. So we will do 16 plus 16. That's 32. That will split you. But then we're dealing with like fucking four enemies next turn, which means it's gonna be and we weaken, which means it's gonna be even harder to, to kill all of them. Especially if we get like this. Okay, well, one's down. We didn't kill the one that was attacking, though. So, we lost our perfect. Okay. I should have played a slime card. What am I thinking? Fuck. Okay, so we lost our perfect. There was really nothing we could do about that. Uh, we don't have AOE clearing cards yet. Um, so, there really wasn't much we could do. So, I'm going to use the fan anyway and move on. 
Boom. So we won't perfect this, but we'll win it. That's all that really matters, I guess. Wow, we got way too many uh, slime cars in the deck. We need to get rid of them. <laughs> Start getting rid of them one at a, one at a time, or we're just going to die eventually. There you go. Uh, use... I mean, let's just take out one. Taking out one isn't nice. And uh, instead of... You know what? I can take out a second one. So let's just do that. Even though we're going to get a bunch of slime cards, we'll never take damage again from this point onwards. So it's okay. We can just use slime, slime, slime. And we turn. Gotta get rid of those slime cards, baby. So we didn't get a perfect... We tried re our grandness. We needed some type of extreme kill con uh, card to get the perfect. I think like Fiendfire is not... Uh, Fiendfire is really bad. Actually, we skipped all of these. I don't want any of those. Uh, no. I will take Astrolope here. Okay, so let's me transform three cards. Let me transform you, you, and you. And got Ghostly Armor, True Grit, and Power Through. Three cards I didn't really want, but they're fine. There's our first two elites. There's a first, that's a, still a first elite. There's a second elite, and there's a second elite. So there's two elites regardless, really, of the path we take. So I'll take the path that is a shop. Maybe fighting more enemies is better, actually. And I've been misplaying this the whole time. Okay, so... We want to go... Strike. Strike. Trigger. And then we got to take one damage. No, I'm okay with one damage. I hate it that I took one. It, it kills me inside, but... It's okay. One down. And we'll never take damage again, pretty much. Do, 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 do. Well, now we can play Ghost Gun, which is nice. I guess. So he's probably going to get away. I don't really see any way to kill him in time because of all the army he gets. We're going to lose a little bit of money here, but it's okay. It's okay. I don't mind. He ran really fast. Like, he ran really, really fast. Or oh, we played very, very slow. I'm not sure. Oh, Bag of Prep is like kind of good slash kind of bad. It's good because... Oh, spin the wheel. I like spin the wheel. Spin the wheel, baby. Spin me, but you spin my head right round, right round, like a record, baby. Uh, we got a curse, decay. Ah, it's a curse that I actually don't mind at all. Blood Vile literally just counted decay, it, pretty much. Ooh, this is bad. Yeah, very bad. Yeah, very bad. Okay, so we have a problem. We're gonna ghost the this straight up. We are going to. We're gonna have to gamble this brew this, this, and this. And let's gamble this. Give me Thunderclap. Not give me Thunderclap. We'll weaken them all. I don't know if it makes a zero. Okay, so we will not take one hit of damage. So let's take out the guy in the back. Because he's got the most XP. So it's better to attack while you still can. And we get 11 block a turn without having to block. Let's keep that in mind. Give me Thunderclap, baby. You did give me Thunderclap. You gave me Thunderclap in the worst way possible. Okay, so we can just take out the back boy. I'm gonna do that. I'll use the defend fight. Give me more block. Okay, and now we just try to take out the next one, and the next one, and etc, etc. So we can go strike. Strike. And then we can use true good and prayer hits the gate. Oh no, we can choose. Let's upgrade it. Obviously. Nice. Oh, we can just exhaust the K now. Hmm. That changes everything. I really need more attacks in this deck right now. We have very few attacks in the deck. When I get to shop, I need to buy every attack card possible. You see what I mean? We just are sitting in a situation where we have zero attack cards in our deck. We got, we got money for days, but we have zero attack cards. Uh, strike will do eight. It will not kill you. True gridding here is probably the better option. Maintain our HP as high as possible, just because it saves us from having to... Uh, Oh, Mar Marble's good. Shop, definitely. We need to buy all the cards. So, Clash is very tempting. Secret, secret Technique is also tempting. Peace, although, with Peace Pipe, we could intentionally just remove everything we don't want to see. Interesting. Um, well, I'll take Vajra. I think I will take Clash. And... Uh, should we just remove the curse? I want to remove power through actually, but it's 20 block. That is not bad. I kind of feel like removing armaments right now. 
because armaments doesn't really do anything for the deck anymore. And I'll tell you what, I think adding anger is actually good. It's 7 damage and we get infinite angers eventually. Uh, we are going to have to rest up, which sucks. What can you do? Do I go to another shop? Hmm. If I go to another shop, I only get... I still get two elites. I still get two elites. Is there a shop on this route? No, there isn't. I still get two elites and it's another shop. I think I'm going to do it. Oh. I like it. That's like a trap. That's a trap card. I wanted to take it and I was like, whoa, 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 wait. You don't need this. Uh, Inflame is just good because we have my fat hand. Warcry is okay. Iron Wave upgraded is fine. Omnis is not good. Uh, frozen Egg means all powers will be upgraded. I mean, that's not bad. We should have bought that then the power. Or then the power, by the way. Buy the steroid potion. Wild Strike does 17. This adds a pathetic wound card to the deck. I'm fine with that. Take a Wild Strike. We need damage. We, we said so three times. So let's get the damage then. If damage is what we need, let's get it. So you go like this. You go like this. You get rid of this. Now all of a sudden you got a bunch of cards you can play. For a trillion damage. And just not give a fuck. Look at that. Boom. What a turn, baby. What a turn. Yeah, sure, we're gonna get a wound card every now and then. Big deal. Who cares about a wound card every now and then? You know, I don't. Anger is really good, actually, because we have five strength for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, because we have cards to give us strength. Now I understand why. I knew that, guys. This adds wound cards to the deck. We need Evolve now. If we get Evolve, our deck will be perfect. Well, if we get Evolve in this deck, we'll win the game. Guaranteed. 100% guaranteed. Evolve wins us the way. Paper Frog, it's good. I like it. I like it a lot. Ah, uh, let's go for Top Boy. I always go Bottom Boy, but let's go up. Oh, made a mistake. So we go on Bottom Boy. But there was no way for us to know before the time. I'm gonna use the Gen Potion immediately. I'm going to use the Inflame immediately. I'm not hit for 8 strength. Uh, but I don't need to bash because bash does 9 for us. That does 29. This is not a, even a pen nib. Let's remember we have a pen nib hit coming up. So. Hit you, 26. Now we have a pain nib hit. 59, so we can take one out. Let's take you out. And then we can strike you for 29. And then we can bash you for infinite vulnerable. And we're going to take two from the We're going to perfect this elite. That's nice. Holy crap. We hit like a truck. You are dead, dude. Good luck. We hit really hard. Are these some stones fine? Save a soul. It's also on attack cards in your hand. Deal 20 damage. That's tempting. Very tempting. Very, very, very tempting. Um, beyond tempting, kind of. Because we can exhaust all those wounds if we get it with Silver Soul. Um, ooh, I don't know about this one, guys. What do you think? Does 20 damage. Exhaust the fangs and decays and stuff we don't want to see. Let's Clash activate. It does the Clash activate. You know what? Yeah, I think it's good. Let's go. Okay, so we want to go this route, right? We want to do another elite. Oh, we have to go through another bonfire, though. Gay? Game's been doing me really dirty. Today. So we obviously want to start with the true grit to get rid of the living armor. And we want to inflame. And then we want to use Thunder Cup. I was kind of hoping it would hit Bash, honestly, but, you know. You can't always have everything you want. Bum, bum, bum. But we, luckily, we hit extremely hard so right now we're on the we hit hard train so we don't care too much about that oh decay takes on the armor that's oh my god decay is like the most least intimidating of all the freaking curses in the game like you don't give a shit about decay you get the k you just say okay i'm moving on gotta be a little bit more careful about these trips to these fucking bonfires i keep going to bonfire after bonfire after bonfire and what am i gaining from this nothing nothing i tell you okay so we got a very very little damage incoming so i'm gonna go in flame in flame. Uh, you are dead. And you are dead. And I'll use the fence just so that the K doesn't hit me. And I'll I don't want to make... I put a one wound card in the deck already. We need evolve. We need evolve game. Like, I don't know how to explain it to you in a more obvious way. But I need evolve in this deck. Like, today. I want to kill you next turn if plausible. Uh, I don't think it's plausible. We can vulnerable you. We can only we can only kill one here. We can do 25 this guy. We will get 11 block. We will actually get enough block to not take a hit. 
So I'm gonna go for the kill next turn, I think. I don't know if this is this like this is either gonna win us the one without taking damage or we're gonna not, or we're gonna take damage. One of the two. And we're not gonna take damage. Awesome. We perfected the Nadi Elite. I'm liking this run. I'm liking this deck. It has a flaw. I'm not going to lie to you. Pommel Strike plus Uppercut plus These are both so good. These are both so good, especially this one against the upcoming boss. So I think I'm gonna go for that one. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got a little bit of intimidation action going in. Let's just do it. A little bit of inflame action, you know. I like to be inflamed. I'm an inflamey boy. It was a very powerful, devastatingly strong thunderclap, unnecessarily. Um, I hate that I can't play the. Actually, I will rather play the Clash here. He's already vulnerable. I hit like a truck. Yeah, I knew playing the Clash was the right choice there. Because I was kind of guaranteed to get an attack. Happy Flower is huge. Another rest that's unnecessary. I wish I had Giri or something. Or, I don't know. There's quite a lot of cards I actually would like in this deck. So you go with him. Flame Start, of course. Um, I think it's True Grit Power Through. Now the problem with that is that we might have one day needed power through to um, we might have one day they needed power through to get the kill on him, but whatever. I'm gonna wild strike for 77 damage, even though I didn't want to, because it adds a wound card to the deck. I'm gonna do it because at this point. Oh my goodness gracious, sweet bowels of Mary Jane fire. That's a lot of damage. We do not have enough block. Are you kidding me right now, game? I guess we don't we don't perfect this elite, which irritates me. But it hits fucking 25. What was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do, game? I don't know. So we can't ever play Clash with the wounds in our deck. So we kind of really, 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 really need uh What's the card I want? Evolve. We kind of win. That's 66 incoming damage. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's a lot of damage, good sir. That's a lot of damage. I'll get as much as I can to minimize as much as I can. That was actually not that bad. Silver Soul. Wild Strike. Normal Strike. Normal. We call Normal Strike again. I miscalculated. That's fine. He's dead next time. Very, very difficult run to perfect bosses on. We don't have the run. We don't have a way to kill enemies yet. Immolate is my boy, but so is feed. I'm gonna take feed. What do you got for me, baby? Burning blood, Sozu, or Ori. Choose an add five cards to your deck. Ooh, that could be big. Choosing adding five cards to your deck could make just give us all the stuff on. But I really want more energy because we have so many two costing cards. I don't really care about these artifacts. I'm gonna take Sozu. I need the energy. I need the energy. It is time lord, which is fine because we attack very fast. We need more strength boost, so limit break would be good. One elite, one elite. Two elite, one elite, two elite. So there's two elites on that part, two elites on this part, and two elites on this part. So all parts are two elites. So I'm gonna find the part that least bonfires. This part has two bonfires. This part has three, three bonfires. That part has two bonfires. So no matter which path I take, there's two bonfires. I'm gonna take this part. I've got two shops, and I got a trillion money, baby. Okay, um, I would prefer not to take damage to you, good sir, so I'm gonna start with a little bit of a ghostly armor situation, into a little bit of thunderclap situation, into maybe a little bit of a strike situation, maybe into a little bit of a wild strike in situation, and it's ended with a defend just for lols. We took half your HP gauge, we hit very hard, our deck hits very hard, somehow we have magically orchestrated a deck that hits beyond the beyond hard, except for when you get that exact turn. Uh, we got the burn and we got the uh, we got the burn and we got the um, wound in the same hand. I just want to call bullshit on that one quickly, but you know it happens, I guess. So let's start with a little bit of inflame action. It's always good. A little bit of thunderclap action is even better. Let's go for a little bit. This get rid of the fan action. I like it a lot. Let's go for some of this. Let's go for a little bit of that, and then we ended up with a nice big 42 strike to the face. I like it. What do you guys think? Good? Bad? Good? Maybe? I don't know. Wait very hard, okay? That's all I want to tell you right now. 
Uh, I miscalculated. I, I miscalculated very hard. I thought, for some reason, I don't know why, that I was going to be able to play Clash. Obviously, I couldn't play Clash, you idiot. And it just ended. I'm done with this. Uh, you, oh, I should have freaking at least waited for Fee to show up. I'm an idiot. Okay, cards. What you got for me, baby? Heavy Blade. Dropkick. Uh, evolve. I'm like, I need Evolve. Evolve comes up. I'm like, eh. Do I want to evolve? I don't think so. I'll take that from this. And uh, moving a card from the deck. Look, we're not going to get to five curses. So, fuck off. Okay. We're not going to get to five curses. Let's be honest with each other. It's not happening. I know it. You know it. The world knows it. Everyone knows it. Let's just mm, accept it and move on. It's the first step to recovery. Acceptance. Um, thunder clapping here is not a good idea, except it's a good idea because ghost time is free. So the thunder clap, better. We can kill two here. Can I kill you? No. Can I kill you? No. Okay. Um, I don't have. There's literally no chance for a. Oh, I'm gonna take out the explosion boys then. There was literally zero chance to kill the spike boy. There. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to. I don't want to mess around with this shit. I'm not in the mood. You will die to this. I got a free feed, which is always sexy. I do need to add the wounds to the. Oh, it adds the wounds to the hand. That changes a lot, actually. My entire um, strat. I'm gonna need to buy more cards. Sorry, I sneezed very loudly and I didn't want you guys to hear it, so I muted the mic. Uh, Metallicize is just. Oop. Metallicize is a free upgrade to our uh, um, Thread and Needle because you play Metallicize and then it makes another card free, so you can play another card. I don't think Apotheos is necessary. Basically, our entire deck is already upgraded except for like Evolve and like a couple of the spell cards, which I don't care about. Auto Wars not gonna happen, and these Tops not gonna happen. Blood for Blood is tempting. It's really, it's really not that bad. I think I will take Blood for Blood and I'll take Metallicize and... Is there more shops on the route? There aren't necessarily going to be more shops. Factor Strike is okay damage. Blind is not bad either. We can move a card though. What card are we seeing when we see? We're like, man, I really didn't want you in the deck right now, man. Is there any way I can just like remove you from the deck? I think like a defend. I defend. We have evolved now, so we don't care about the wounds we get anymore. Ooh, Intangibro. Intangibro is actually kind of hard to kill on the first turn. But we got Inflame, which is good. Inflame, which is good. Intimidate, which is also good. Dropkick, which is amazing. Anger, which is free. Uh, strike, because it's absolutely free. Another strike, because we love it. And then we ended with a 68 damage thing. So we're not gonna we're not gonna get a perfect, which is the most painful experience to my entire human life right now. I'm not even kidding with you. I'm extremely annoyed. Um, I'm I'm I'm, like, I'm actually so upset that I'm not gonna get the perfect that I literally want to die because this should have been a perfect. This should have been a perfect, but it's not because we couldn't want to shot him. Why could we not one shot him game? Because we're pathetic. Pathetic, I tell you. Just give me the max HP and I'll move on. I don't care about any of those cards. Literally, I don't care. I'll fight for Relic, of course. I've got 10,000 Relics. I think I'm scared of these guys. Bitch, please. It's, I've, I've had this conversation with my friend the other day, actually. I was like, we were talking and we are like, you know what's a, what's a good... Uh, he, his favorite run in the game is... Uh, man, if I could just speak the English language, I would be so good at this YouTube thing. I'm telling you guys. Uh, I should just do as much damage as I can, right? So he was saying like vintage runs are his favorite runs and I was like, oh, I actually don't like vintage runs and he was like, whoa, why, why don't you like vintage runs? Vintage runs are awesome. And I'm like, well, you see the problem with vintage runs is that um, we are, oh, we want to gear you. So we need to gear you actually. It's not that we want to gear you, we actually kind of need to. Gear you is kind of like our win condition right now. Blue Candle does nothing for me. Does nothing. I don't want to see it. I didn't care for it. I didn't want it. I got it, so I'll accept it, and I'll move on. I'm going to start off by doing 38 damage to you. And then I'm going to clash you for 35 damage. And then I'm going to feed on you for... I'm going to first strike you for 19 damage. 
I'll strike you for knife damage. I can only kill one of you, so I'm going to eat the one that's actually going to die. And yeah, I should kill you both next turn. These guys you could infinite eat if you had a way to recycle... If you had a way to recycle... I hate that I used pen over there. If you had a way to recycle like exhumes or something, you could actually use exhumes and feeds to eat on those guys for the rest of their lives. We start with a little bit of flame action, a little bit of of that action, we maybe go for a little bit of uh, this action, into a little bit of that action, we go for some of this action, we get rid of that action, and then we do this massive action. I love it. I love it. We're not taking any damage. You know what the spire growth is? I figured it out. I'm a genius. I'm an actual genius. The spire growth is literally just the, uh, the serpent. Remember that serpent that they had? It's the serpent. It's just like, it just looks different. But it's the serpent who does the same shit. Ah, uh, yeah, give me a more, why not? I don't care about getting cursed at this point. I don't want them anyway, so just give it to me and let's move on. So I'm feeling good. I feel like we have a chance. There is a spike boy, so if we want to fight, we have to start off with a little bit of defend action and then we want to go thunderclap action. Let's go for a little bit of a uh, uppercut action right here and a strike action right here. I like to take out Explosion Boys first because Explosion Boys are the scariest part of this game. Because I've actually died to Explosion Boys before many, many times. Okay, so we clash. Uh, we're going to do 70 fucking damage. Well, I mean, buy Spike Boy. Buy another boy. Buy other boy. Easy. I, I actually love how I killed the Explosion Boy last, by the way. It's like, I'm like, I want to kill Explosion Boy. It's important. And then I literally killed him last. Which is funny. Um, hello, Head Boy. Head Boy's a problem. Start a little bit of that action into a little bit of this action. I hate that Blood Blood wasn't free. I'm going to go for some... Or you go for Defend. You can use Power Through. Why not? Let's use Power Through. Okay, what does the most damage? 7, 27, 39, or 22. So you start with 22 because it's 53. We do not have pin up active, so we just check that. Boom, 53 damage. Boom, 70 damage. Boom, 109 damage. We just did 232 damage to him in one turn, baby. We don't give up. F How do we have 42 block? Excuse me, game. Excuse me. How did this even happen? I didn't even know how this happened. Look, this deck, it has something going for it. I'm not going to lie to you. Something. And this deck is going forward. It's happening. It's happening up in here. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying up in here, baby? Oh, that was a wasted uh, pin up. He should still die, but that was a wasted pin up. We did perfect them, which is fine. Um, Clothesline is good. It does weaken him for quite a while. Let's take Clothesline. And we'll use the last gear. Up to three gear strength, baby. Let's do it. So we're not going to have a lot of strength, unfortunately, because we, don't, we didn't get a lot of strength. We didn't get, like, limit break anything. But we're going to start with, like, uh, quite a bit of strength. So we're going to start with a little bit of flame action. We're, of course, going to use all the fucking potions. So we straight up, right off the bat, are not getting a perfect, which, which just hurts me inside. It just hurts me. I feel like the game deliberately did this, which just, it just pains my soul. No perfect for us, because we did not get one of our 66 blocks in our deck. Which is fine. I don't hold a grudge, guys. We did just do almost half of the... Time Lord's HP and one attack. So, no perfect for us. Meh. It sucks. What can you do? What can you do? So, we're going to do that. Just need to check the amount of turns we're using here. This is a double damage. You obviously use Clash for 84 damage. He's a strike for 26 damage. And he's actually going to armor slash heal himself now. He's going to armor himself now. So we need to kill him right now, right here. Boom. And boom. Okay, well, that was the easiest time Lord fight ever. We didn't perfect it, but it was super easy. The deck was strong, but it's because you've got 9,000 buffs. As I said, I think Vintage is too easy. 1,005, it's a good score, but it's not even close to top 1,000. No curses, no stuff, whatever. We didn't perfect. We didn't get beyond perfect. Disappointed in myself. I'm gonna 
Yep, 1,770. Told you, it wouldn't be top 1,000. That I could feel the score was not going to be good enough for top 1,000. And I could feel that the daily was too easy. So lots of people were going to do well. It was a fun daily. Don't get me wrong. I did have a good time playing it. But it was too easy. And that's the problem with vintage. Is it's just too many relics. I mean, too many buffs. Let's think about it. Like, HP up. Nice. Upgraded cards. Uh, upgraded cards. Double damage. Upgraded cards. Energy. Card draw. HP heal. Strength. Immunity. Immunity. Uh, strength. Vulnerable, free vulnerable, extra vulnerable damage, free dex, HP up, um, dex up, lots of heal, blue candles, HP, more energy, exhaust energy, energy, uh, more energy, free cards when you rest, except I never rested after I got Dreamcatch, which is fucking hilarious. Uh, more cards, you know, okay, Red Scar was the only one that I never used, but I mean, you guys get the picture. The picture is that today's daily was very easy, it was nice to come back into and have a nice little da easy daily again, but I'm just upset that my score is, I don't want to say inadequate, because that's like very depressive, but it's prob it's literally inadequate, like the problem is, it's just, it's not good enough for me, but without further ado, that'll be the end of this episode, thank you so much for watching, if you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to hit that like button, it really helps a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already, so you guys can be updated as soon as new episodes are released on my channel, which is basically every single day. I really appreciate the subscriptions, as it helps the channel grow as the YouTube algorithm lets more people see it for the more subscriptions you have, slash more likes you have. So, it really, really helps. So, if you guys don't mind, just do that. And I'll see you all next time with more Slatter Spy Epic Dailies, where we try and do better. Try and do better.